Hey everyone, it's me again, Ian, with more Audi TT content. In this video, I'm going to be taking the engine out of the Roadster Barn Find Audi TT Mark 1. Once all of the front components are off and the wiring loom disconnected, the next step is to remove the drive shafts. If you have a rattle gun, this is the easiest way to do it. Remove the wheel and attack the nut or bolt, while also ensuring the rotor doesn't move by inserting something into the slots. If you don't have a rattle gun, you'll probably want to keep the wheel on with the center cap removed to loosen the nut or bolt while the car is on the ground. While loosened, then you can remove the wheel and continue. Next is removing the under tray fittings. If you're unlucky, you'll have these speed nuts. They're super annoying. But if you're super lucky, you'll have these different versions and they're like a 10 mil hex. I'm going to change mine all over to these 10 mil versions. They're just much easier to work with. Once the under trays are removed, you'll have better access to the drive shaft M10 triple square bolts. There are six of these to remove on each side along with their washer. I like to undo these bit by bit until they're all fairly loose before backing all the way out. This just ensures that the drive shaft cup end doesn't get jammed and gives you difficulty in removing the drive shaft. Next, remove the three ball joint nuts from underneath and push the arm away from the hub assembly. This will give you more movement in order to move the hub out and to be able to remove the drive shaft. This part was super painful for me as my nut type drive shaft was very stuck. You should be able to hit it out like so. I'll be converting mine over to the nut type which is supposedly a stronger setup and it makes sense as that's how all the later model cars are built. Video will come soon on that. Here you can clearly see the extended part of the drive shaft where the nut screws onto. So far, here are all the nuts, bolts and screws that have been removed and there's a few more to go to get the engine out but surprisingly not that many more. I like to organize these in a row so that I'll work my way backwards on rebuilding. Access to the downpipe is tight, but removing the heat shield that's on the bevel box helps to give better access. Then you're able to get under there and crack the three downpipe nuts that you can see here. They're really hidden and I've already unbolted the main drive shaft for the Haldex in a previous video which I've linked to in the top right link. Once you've gotten these off, they can be a bit of a pain, so make sure you use a lot of WD-40. You can start disconnecting the gearbox mounts. I had to clear a whole bunch of tarmac from my dog bone mount, as you can see, which is clearly a byproduct of the accident where the engine had dropped to the ground. With the dog bone mount removed, it's time to support the engine with the hoist. This is where I like to use an engine leveler as it makes life easier when pulling the engine out, especially when you're doing this job on your own. Once supported, the final bolts to remove are on the gearbox mounts. Get these off and then you're able to start to pull the engine. You want to do this very slowly and in bits, ensuring you check all around it for clearance. So check on the sides, check underneath, check behind the engine to ensure nothing's fouling.
And of course I've forgotten something. This is where I forgot the power steering line that's connected to the power steering pump. So again, make sure you check everything is disconnected. And then you're able to remove that 1.8T engine. While the engine's on its way out, move any other hoses and lines out of the way and you want to manipulate the height in really small increments to help clear the engine from the chassis. There we go, the 1.8T from the Audi TT Quattro is out. Now it's just a matter of finding a safe spot for it to be stored. Okay, so now I've got it to this point, I need the engine to be a little bit more straight. So then I can take the gearbox off, because we don't want this engine anymore. All it's going to be good for are some little bits and pieces, the coil packs. Um, and then want to keep that gearbox and hopefully there's a good clutch underneath as well. Pull it out. Okay, it's good. Let's get this off. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. And that's how you remove the 1.8T engine from the Audi TT8N. Hope you enjoyed this point of view video and see you next time.